In today's video, we're gonna build a giant version of our newest speed build kit, the Simple Stick, that can fly off of land, snow, or water. Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test, I'm Josh. Today we have a really special project, mainly from my son. He's been wanting for the longest time to build a monster version of our classic Simple Stick. And today we're gonna make that a reality because the snow's flying, and hopefully he's gonna be able to fly this off of floats right off the snow. So if you guys aren't familiar with the Simple Stick, the Simple Stick is one of our newest releases and it's also exactly what its name describes, it's simple. The Simple Series is basically a plane that you can build in about two and a half hours under 14 pieces of foam board and it's gonna give you a great experience whether you're new to the hobby or established. Now we wanted to pick specifically this model because it has a symmetrical airfoil and if you're looking to go from that next transition from a three channel or a four channel to something more aerobatic, the Simple Stick is perfect because it has symmetrical wings which will enable you to do all sorts of really great aerobatics. We really wanted this plane to be able to be a grow with you airplane so you can start off with basic maneuvers but then eventually carry it all the way up through crazy 3d aerobatics so we just got this foam cut out for this giant simple stick now i've been building a lot of mass series planes if you guys don't know what a mass series plane is it's a little bit more advanced than our simple series it takes a little bit more time a little bit more finesse to build them and it's just a little bit harder to build them now the simple stick is part of our simple series the simple series are very full together airplanes they build quick and you pretty much get the same result except from the looks from the mass series so i'm really excited to return back to these simple series my friend jesse is actually down from Missouri and he's actually giving me a hand folding together this airplane. Now it's really awesome having some extra hands to build these giant airplanes because building these alone is a lot harder than it looks. So as you guys know, we love using model aviation as a tool to connect with people and also make special memories, especially with my son here. And that is a common vision also shared with our sponsor today, HelloFresh. And just like we love to offer different experiences through different types of models, HelloFresh offers many different recipes that can give you different cooking techniques and also amazing cooking experiences that will get you out of that recipe right. HelloFresh cuts out the stressful meal planning and prepping, so you can quickly go from cooking to the dinner table in about 30 minutes. And if you even need a faster experience, you can get this down to 20 minutes with their quick and easy options. Now just like our speed build kit, HelloFresh gives the ability to have all your ingredients pre-portioned so you have very little waste and have everything you need. Now if you guys are like me, I have different paces in my week here where sometimes I'm busy and other times I'm not. You can actually change your delivery days and your meal plans to fit your busy schedule and also try something new. Now the really cool thing is when you try HelloFresh, you're not only learning about different meals, different cooking techniques and making memories along the way, but you're also supporting a company that has provided over 2.5 million meals to many families in need. So my wife is already a phenomenal cook here. She can pretty much cook everything but I'm a terrible cook. So this time I wanted to put HelloFresh to the test and I decided to cook sweet and smoky pork tenderloin. Now I absolutely love meat and I'm very familiar with eating pork tenderloin, but one thing I was not familiar with was some of the other ingredients they introduced to me, mainly the apple carrot slaw. I thought there's no way that apples and carrots together, especially with ingredients like vinegar, were gonna taste good, especially to my kids, which are pretty picky eaters. I noticed really quickly, as we started mixing these ingredients together, there was aromas and flavors that were coming out that made us all really eager to try this. I was really amazed as they gave us the different ingredients and also the steps that they had us do. They were also planning for the meal to end at the same time so that everything would be hot and fresh and prepared well together. They even had us use different ingredients that would go on the meat to actually act as garnishes or extra flavor for things like potatoes. In the end, all of my kids and my awesome wife were totally blown away with how amazingly delicious this meal was and also we tried different flavors that we've never done before. Now the cool thing also is, is we were able to keep that recipe card so if we liked that dish, we were able to produce it in the future so not only are we getting a great meal experience but we have something that we can go back to and recreate in the future. So like I said before, I rarely ever cook. My, my cooking ability is pretty much zero, but what I found from the end of this experience was it was an absolute blast, having fun with my family, talking around the dinner table, cooking something new, trying something new, and at the end of the day, it was just an amazing memory that we're definitely gonna be doing again. So if you guys wanna have a really great experience, eat some amazing food, and make some awesome memories along the way, you can go to HelloFresh.com and use our code 80 flight test to get a total of $80 off across five boxes. This is including free shipping on your very first box. So again, go to HelloFresh.com and use our code 80 flight test to get a total of $80 off five boxes and free shipping on your very first box. So a huge thanks to HelloFresh for not only having a passion for making memories, but also giving us a really great experience around the dinner table to do so. So Noah's build project's going along really good here. And this is also getting me real nostalgic because I was about Noah's age when I was really into models like the Simple Stick. So stick style aircraft came around in the 1980s here and around my childhood. And originally they were called the Ugly Stick. Now this kind of model has been made in all sorts 
lots of different variants with two motors, one motor, low wing, high wing, biplane versions, tail draggers, tricycle gears. It's just basically a very classic shape that flies incredibly well and is also really easy to build. They also came in many different sizes. Now later on in the years, they took the Ugly Stick series and they turned it into something called the Ultra Stick, where they started smoothing out the tails, changing the wingtips a little bit, adding flaps, and giving it 3D capabilities. Now there have been a lot of different variants of the Stick series, even the plane called the Roadrunner, which a long time ago, we actually got at a swap meet where we were able to kind of rejuvenate, bring back to life, and fly it in a couple different episodes. We were even able to fly with our good friend Alan Bruce, his Roadrunner, off the water. So that's kind of exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be building a monster stick. We're going to be putting floats on it. But instead of going off the water this time, our goal is going to be able to be able to fly off the of snow and water. So Noah's build's coming along really great. Let's check it out. The building portion of this plane is actually now done. But you can't fly a plane without painting it. Now we're actually going to take a note off of the old simple sticks. And we're actually going to base it, maybe change a couple colors, but we're going to stick to the same general concept. All we used to paint that plane was actually just a little bit of masking paper and a little bit of painter's tape. What we did is we played off the lines of the wings and the tails and the awesome angles of this plane. Now our friend Alex actually drew up some awesome decals for this plane. As you can see the plane looks great. All we had to do is get our batteries charged up and head out to the field. So when Noah decided that he wanted to build a plane to fly in the snow aka the monster simple stick, uh, we had snow. We had six inches of snow. Matter of fact in our last video with Astuka you saw that snow. There's no snow here today. Nope. And you have a big plane ready for the snow with no snow. We, we got these beautiful giant floats and... Um, They're like two no. toboggans on wings. It's just yeah. fantastic. So we don't have that, but that's not going to stop us because frankly, we don't want to wait for the snow to come. Plus, you know, we got to put out an episode. So we're going to go ahead and you're going to fly to your maiden of your yep. plane that you built. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to run all over the golf course and find things to fly around. Uh, we have a tiny little lake and a really big airplane. That should be fun. Yeah. And uh, we'll see how Noah does, and we'll just keep pushing the limits. Alice, are you going to instigate for us? Uh, sure, I'm going to chase you with the quad. Okay, so we'll, we'll just keep on giving Noah challenges and see what happens. It'll yeah. be fun. You ready for the maiden? Absolutely. Good okay? luck, Noah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> now, let, let me just say that... Uh, oh, yeah, actually, you got the wind working for you now. Oh, cool. So that's good. So he's got to break the tension of the Geotech. And by the way, this Geotech runway is fantastic for every kind of model from belly landers to, you know, little tiny wheels and stuff. We love this, but also it's pretty low friction. Yeah. So you got to get this off the ground. He's going to have to kind of keep that pitch back as he breaks the surface tension. From that point on, he can go ahead and lift it off. I'm okay. looking forward to see what happens. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys ready? Ready. There you go. Oh, you oh made that look easy! <laughs> Whoosh, Looks like you got a little bit of trimming to do, huh? Yeah. What a beast. That looks awesome. That is a significant looking plane in the air. That color pops. It covers ground pretty quick, too. Yeah. So you just trimming it out? Yeah. Do you want me to push some trim for you? No, I got it. No, I got it. There we go. Boy, it's it's good. It definitely doesn't lack power. Can you go vertical? <laughs> vertical. Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> That was awesome. So this is currently flying off of just a five cell. With this setup, we could actually go all the way to six cell. We really love the five cell because it's really easy on the motor. It's real soft, smooth power, and good efficiency too. So uh, we can always dial it up a little bit more if we have to, but. Yeah, she's, <laughs> literally all I had to do is trim her out and now she's uh, she's flying. Cool. Well, why, why don't you try a roll? Roll? Okay, let me go around one time, right? Three, two, one, roll. There's something about seeing big airplanes with big pontoons that looks so cool. Oh my. It literally flies like a normal stick, only maybe a little bit slower. As I say, it looks a lot slower. The stick carries a lot of energy in the smaller size, uh, but it still looks to be just as floaty and everything. It's just, just a little bit more docile, huh? Yeah. My favorite word lately is doppy. <laughs> You're faking Alex out. That was crazy. Oh. It's weird because when I go upside down, huh? What's it do? It uh, does it pitch up or pitch down? It doesn't pitch up or down. It just like loses loses uh, a lot of power actually. Oh, you know what it could be? It's because those pontoons are grabbing the air too. That's true. Yeah. Why don't you do a little flyby? Ready? Low flyby. Low flyby. Okay. Act like I'm setting up for a landing. 
So whether it's a really big airplane or a real small airplane, it's always fun to build something, take it out for its first maiden. It never gets old. Even with us doing a video every week, it's always exciting to see something fly. And now with this chapter with making my kid fly planes, it's even better. Looks good. Uh, oh yeah. It's definitely a little draggy with those floats on it. I can imagine. Oh, oh. Uh, emergency landing here. Oh. Did you burn through that battery already? I don't know. But now you get to land it. Yeah. We got four more. Cool. Just kind of landed right into the... Oh, oh. <laughs> nice! <laughs> 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 uh. All right, so we got three more batteries. Yeah. Let's go ahead and just pop another one and put it back up. Let's do it. It is called, in yours truly forgot, a jacket, a hat, and gloves. Don't be like me. <laughs> But that also creates a problem with battery issues. It does, it does. Whenever it's cold outside, oftentimes your battery life isn't gonna last as long. So just think about when you're, you know, uh, delivering the voltage and the current. This can't give up the, the juice as easy in colder weather. So uh, it's a really terrible explanation of cold batteries. <laughs> I just realized that. Yeah, long story <laughs> short, when batteries are cold, they don't last as long. How's yes. that sound? That's How's it feel, Noah? Felt good, a little draggy. Um, it's definitely cold outside, so I don't know how he's doing it without a coat. So did, did you trim everything felt good? You got yeah, it dialed in I got and it trimmed out and everything, and uh, right when we did that, the battery quit. Battery quit, so, yeah. So we actually have something. We have an FT or a 5 on this, and then we dialed in something called flaperons. Flaperons is where you can take both ailerons and droop them down, so it'll act as flaps, but also at the same time, you can move them to still keep your aileron control or your bank control. So we have that down. We have it on a two-position switch. Nice thing is, is we can have a simple sub $100 radio, have all the benefits to that aura, but also it's pretty windy out today and takes away the effects of that. So, yep. pretty cool. All right, you ready for round two, kiddo? Yep. All righty, good luck. Fingers a little bit more cold, but let's do it. That's so awesome. <laughs> I can't wait to see this off the water. Oh yeah, that's much better. Yeah, you only need about, what, half throttle to fly? About half throttle, yeah. Man, I love how you can see that red. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, uh, guys, throw something at me. Loop. <laughs> Do a loop. Do a loop. Ready? Three, two, one. Wow, the wing stayed on. <laughs> Good. <laughs> we have a winner. Talk about some uh, pitch authority. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. It loops as it loops as tight as the uh, the small one. So can you go inverted? Yeah. There you go. How do you like those big old floats be on the top this time, huh? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> it, it was, uh, it's so weird because I'm I'm so used to uh, putting a lot of up in, or wait, no, yeah, a lot yeah. up into it. You got a symmetrical airfoil. So whenever you have a symmetrical airfoil, when the plane's upside down or right side up, it doesn't act any different. That's one of the benefits of aerobatic airplanes. So why don't you try one click of flaps here and see what you got. Okay. Uh, that's right here, this right? one right here. Should be very, very, barely noticeable. How's yeah. that feel? Just a little bit more slower. All right, there's two. Oh, she's pitching up a little bit. Oh, uh, and now I'm out of battery. Really? Yeah. That cold, man. I'm, my battery's low too. Are right? you serious? I guess it is like, what, 30 degrees? Okay, now I'm gonna grease her in There's a little patch of snow there, try to hit it. <laughs> Look at it just coming in. <laughs> 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 it was just floating in. That's crazy. It's also crazy how the battery's dying so quickly. All right, I'd say in terms of a maiden flight, I'd call that a success. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the far hole of Edgewater Golf Course here, and we are going to push Noah outside of his comfort zone and see if he can do a takeoff and a landing off of our small pond. This is the small pond that we used in previous videos like our RC battleship, as well as the dive bombing episode. So let's head over to the pond and see what Noah can do. All right, dude, you ready, Noah? I'm ready. How are you feeling? I'm ready. You ever flown a pontoon float plane? Uh, a sea duck, but that thing was overpowered, so. Uh, and that doesn't have pontoons. No. It's a, little, it's a little different when the plane's up off the top. Yeah, so. All right, so your dad's loading it in over there. Yeah. He's uh, doing me the favor of putting in the water for me, so. She floats. Guys, it floats. That's great. You know, you good? I'm good. Ready? Go for it, man. You got this. Ready, three, two, one. Back on the controls. Oh, there you go. Yes! Oh. <laughs> 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 
Do you feel the difference with the nose wave? Is oh, it better? Oh yeah, that's that's much better. So I saw no, as he was flying, he was just kind of porpoising when he rolled upside down, tucked under. That's a really good sign that your plane is a little bit tail heavy. So what we did is we put ahead and put another battery in it. That's going to give us the ability to draw more amps in this cold weather. Hopefully, he'll get a longer flight. How's it feel? That feels a lot better. Yeah. All right. So here's the important thing: whenever you're water landing, you don't ever do a full stall flare into the water. You want to just kiss the water with a little bit of speed, making sure you don't poke that nose down. If you do, what's going to happen is your plane's going to flip over, and we're not going to get it. So what he's going to do here is he's going to bring this down, nice glide slope, and he's going to bring it down on the main step, and then he's going to slowly ease off in the course of about maybe 50 feet. So. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. You're out there, dude. He is way out there. Taking the long approach. Get out of the way. <laughs> so we just had a reality check. I like how you got this kind of skirt in between the two trees and and you're going down one too. This is pretty gutsy. Ooh, good setup, kiddo. Oh! oh ah! turn, turn. Come on! No! No! Oh, yes! Hey, yeah. <laughs> First try! And look, the wind's bringing you back. I think you got room for another one. Can you hop it over that pipe? So, so full, full up on the elevator, yeah. whatever you tack. There you go. You want to try it? Yeah. Here you go. I can't believe it. you. Ready? Woo! Okay. Great work, there guys. Goes Fix. Good luck, buddy. Oh, your takeoff's a lot prettier than oh, mine. No! Oh, it's no! fantastic! <laughs> That's awesome, man. It That's flies beautiful. wonderful. <laughs> yes, this thing loves the water. So it was really sour that we lost the snow, but who would ever thought that it would be in the middle of December and we'd <laughs> be able to actually fly off the water? And look at you guys. Look. I'm gonna side flip. I love side flip. You're just whooping it in. I'm gonna do a touch and go. <laughs> <laughs> side flop and go. The flop and go is the best. Ooh, the wind's real up there. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's, there's the battery on it. All right, yeah, right. Cold battery. Okay. Cold Can you battery. Make it to the water. Oh, we're gonna make it to the water. Oh, okay. He's coming. Oh, straight at us. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we can fix that. <laughs> Great work. I, I, I just had a little scary moment because I saw Stefan over here and <laughs> I, I, went, I went to grab him. <laughs> so you do this is the only spot where it can ramp up. It's like, okay, we can't go over there else it's just gonna be like, no, I'm sorry, man. I think no. I, uh, I think we're gonna need some plywood in that, but it's gonna be okay. It's okay. All right, so friends, that was a fun project here. Cool thing about this, you don't have to build a monster size simple stick. We have a really awesome simple stick that you can buy at the store right now. Also, check out our value bundles. They just released here right in time for Christmas. We match with a motor, pontoons, monster size wheels. It's a phenomenal value right in time for Christmas. Also, it's a ton of fun no matter what season you're in. So guys, this has a lot of life left in it. All we have to do is repair the floats and it'll be back up. If you guys want to see us do anything else to this plane and fly it, let us know in the comments. Uh, Noah, good job. Nice work. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I even really regretted that one. Oh. Fred, thanks for being part of the family. We'll see you next time. See ya. Oh my golly. <laughs>